Hello and welcome to another JLB bootleg knockoff Lego. Uh, this is based on Saint Seiya. I don't read the manga or the anime or collect any of the official figures and toys, but um, the toy gimmick anyway at least is that all the figures come with really shiny ar armor. As seen on the box art here, uh, the armor is um, gold molded plastic but it's not that shiny. Um, it's more of a chrome effect on the official stuff, but not not the not these ones you'll see in a sec. Uh, of course, because it's JLB. Uh, this is set number three D one two nine zero and then one two six, so one two three five six. So uh, collect them all and stuff. From what I can gather, they're kind of based on star signs and stuff. So um, supposedly, uh, this one is uh, Sir Guinness something. So well, there you go, that's my failed attempt. One side of the box is uh, assembly guide, whereas the other, on the other side shows you what you get inside, weapons and stuff. Assembly guide, weapons. On the back is some... Um, well, that's another sh shot of them. So you've got Phoenix, which is uh, Iki. Yeah. What do you get inside? Assembly guide. This one is uh, Andromeda. Pegasus. If you do want to take a closer look at the box art, oh, dragon, and uh, Photoshop the figures and stuff, please feel free to head over to the Flickr link in the video description below. And finally, this one is uh, Athena. And uh, the top of all of the boxes do have the, some sort of logo thing going on, so that's that's something, I guess. Um, box design is decent, very clear about uh, what it is. And of course, all of these come with free. Three cards each. It's a very thin sort of printer paper with a very thin layer of plastic lamination. And on the back is uh, their logo. Some dude there, all the same, and some logos down there. And yeah, these are all designed based on, uh, well, still based on Ninjago cards. I don't think Ninjago sets even come with those cards anymore. But, uh, you know, cards seem to be semi-random. Yeah. Like I said, three cards each. Very rough cut edges. The print is decent all of, on all of them, but uh, obviously some of the image designs aren't as good as the other ones. The cut, for the most part, is very centered. And here you go. Now, out of all of these, there are three different spare hands from all the sets. All of these have a plate down there. Collect the more small blocks figure series, Jowly Bro. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Now, uh, a lot of them use hair pieces that they've used before in like Dragon Ball C sets. Every plate has uh, two 1x2 two blocks as well as a 2x2 uh, two two plate and this little stand there. And you see, they've actually bothered to print the body and the legs, which is interesting. Head, uh, and the print isn't too bad at all. It's slightly off-center, the gold on some of them, but uh, it's not bad at all. Face print is also pretty decent. The hair pieces are uh, soft. Ish rubbery pieces, which make them a little bit annoying to peg on. As you can see here, I'm having a bit of trouble finding the. Uh... No, there we go. And the face print is actually not bad at all, and they've also bothered to print very simple print, but they still bothered to print the back. So uh, I'm pretty impressed for what they've done. And of course, you know, it's not missing the arm itself, just saving to last. Uh, these are plugged onto the back. Oh. Like you know, standard Lego toys, they they plug onto the back. Big, big angel wings and the uh, gold molded plastic. Now, sure, this isn't um, you know chrome, but for JLB, I mean, these are really really cheap bootlegs, and uh, they've actually done something that's pretty decent here. Next, we have this guy. He has this giant battle axe. There, his clutch on his neck and hips. Well, feet are very loose and that's not good. The print on him is very simple again. Uh, effective, simple, but um, I think the gold is a bit messed up both the legs and the torso. Uh, the head print I have is okay, but I don't know why he has golden lips and make him look like he's got like uh, African style lips, like thicker lips, but uh, in gold for some reason. And again, he has a very simple back print, but it is there. And uh, he comes with um, wings and uh, this style armor. So, people who actually watch the show, read the manga, can probably tell you, or tell me at least, uh, that uh, how accurate those things are. Next we have this woman here who has a pretty cool molded uh, staff here. Do be careful with the thin plastic there, but uh, it seems very durable, but still be a bit careful with it, I would suggest, since that's how small it is. But this is a pretty neat weapon. Uh, you can definitely use that as some sort of um, 
your queen, Egyptian queen. Body print is actually pretty decent. Again, not too many colors and it's very simple, but it's, it works. And then she actually has a helmet instead of hair. And this helmet plugs on very nicely. It's hard plastic, not rubbery or anything. It plugs on very nicely. And her eyes are actually, uh, you know, actually designed to fit in there. And, um, you know, even though it's designed to fit in there, removing the helmet doesn't leave you with a goofy face. Like sometimes she even Shinyan does that when you remove like a flash helmet, you've got a goofy face underneath. And again, the print on the back is uh, simple but effective. And she does come with golden armor. That's uh, definitely she be shaped for her because it's got like breastplates and stuff. And um, this is mentioned some of these armors have a little black back stud on the back. Back stud on the back. A stud thing on the back to plug in the extra things for the armor. She uh, she didn't came with, come with any, but um, you know, she's got that function. And so you have this uh, purple suit guy there. Again, the body print and face print is, you know, decent enough. They, they actually have high whites there. He's got these two chain pieces. So, yay. And on the back there again, very simple print, but effective. And he comes with this armor right there. Next we have this guy, he's got a big golden sword, um, gold print on the torso and stuff is where most bootlegs kind of mess up, doesn't quite dry too well and he's got a lot of gold on him, slightly off center, uh, so that's not too good. Face print however has managed to survive okay, and he's one of the characters that actually has an extra bit on his uh, armor on the back. He's got these, whoa. He's got these uh, three straps that come down, which is pretty cool, and I could definitely uh, use one of these a while ago when making a cougar, a custom camera cougar's uh, enemy. And here's his armor from the front. Finally, we have this guy right here with a uh, star armor and stuff. He's got sword and bow and arrow. His uh, face print is okay, but unfortunately his leg print is completely off-center, uh, so that's really messed up. Total print is decent enough. And there's a quick look at the back. Again, it's got a bit of gold paint there. It didn't really mess up there, so that's good. If you have had any previous JLB sets, you know what to expect here. However, the quality here is definitely a bit better than what they used to be. Uh, I'm especially impressed with the wing armor and the actual wings. They are pretty good. Now, just like all uh, JLB stuff, Usually there's a bit of excess plastic on all the pieces, which you can easily sand down or trim if you really want, if it really bothers you. Uh, not too much here, but it is definitely still there. So, which means there's, there's still a bit sort of sharpish parts on these pieces. Just be careful when giving them to someone. Maybe just make sure you get some like nail clippers or something to file it down, just to make sure there's no sharp corners. The clutch on these, for the most part, are okay. Uh, they're not bad to the point where you know things will fall over or. or spin back because due to weight for the most part uh, all of these you know stand and articulate quite well the legs are a bit wobbly on some but not too bad and some of the necks are very loose they might um, you know bob up and down if not careful hair pieces are all soft-ish rubbery pieces but they you know they fit very well and the molding and sculpting there is pretty good uh, just like their first uh, sort of Dragon Ball Z stuff and uh, yeah accessory wise are also very unique you got you get a lot of unique parts with these and uh, the face print on all of these are actually surprisingly well, really good. Uh, torso prints are all very simple, and apart from a few mess ups, uh, it, they are also decent enough. Uh, they are very simple, uh, very low resolution, very low resolution, low bit rate, so there's not too many colors going on. But it doesn't, they don't really need it too much because, for the most part, the, your characters here will be wearing the armor if that's what you're getting them for, so it doesn't impact this too much. Uh, this is probably one of the best JLB sets that they've ever produced. Uh, unique parts are great, and uh, yeah, I'll give credit where credit uh, is due. These are pretty good. So if JLB can keep improving beyond this quality, or at least stay at this quality, and keep bringing us unique and different uh, characters that other brands have not done, because that's one thing, despite having poor plastic quality and joint quality, and cl you know, clutch quality overall, and uh, your know, worst print overall compared to other brands, they are giving us a lot of unique pieces, a lot of random ideas that other companies are just not doing. So that's that's good for them to do. You know, they're doing Hello Kitty, Mickey Mouse, these guys, and a few other brands that other people haven't done. They, they did they did Street Fighter and Dragon Ball Z pretty early on before the other bootleg brands went along and did it. So kudos there. I wonder if they would do a Mortal Kombat one. Hmm. 
So yes, finally, if you do read the manga, do watch the anime and stuff, and do actually like the designs of these as well as a Lego based toy, definitely, definitely consider picking these up. If you have enjoyed this video, please click the like button, subscribe button, also leave a comment below on how you feel about this set, or so other JLB sets, or LEGO building in general, if you want other building brands to copy these figures and you know, design their own. And of course, if you want to support this channel, please watch more of my videos without any ad block. I've covered official and bootleg Lego, as well as uh, other action figures and other toys. And if you want to support this channel even further, so I can do more videos more often for you guys, you can head over to the Patreon page and give me a little support there. I would appreciate it a lot, but of course, you don't have to. Most importantly, take care, have a nice day, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.